Hello everyone. In this video, we are gonna implement push notification remotely with the um, voice signal, and we will do it from scratch until we get notification in real device for both platforms iOS and Android. Okay, and this is um, my new playing project I have just created and now we don't care about the um, project right now and we will have uh, many many stuff to config and to do and the first thing we need to go to um, one signal um, size and we have to create um, um, an app an app in one signal and I call it um, we are going to notification yes and don't care about this yes and it is a uh, nothing because um, we haven't configured anything and I would like to show you right here that we will um, a native app platform and we will configure um, iOS and Google Android for both platform in iOS we have um, a little bit more thing to do yes because we have to um, create a certificate and as you can see right here we have to pass a um, product certificate P12 yep and we have to upload to one signal but in um, uh, Android we have just um, something to do is like um, Google so we API and project number and we can call this project number is um, send uh, ID and I will show you and okay now we um, go to create uh, the certificate for one signal you have to go to your um, developer ID of um, iOS because if you um, build application related to um, notification like that you have to have an um, airport developer account right and now we click on a um, certificate right here right and for now um, we don't have some um, identifier or app IDs like this because um, our project we have run, um, run yet so uh, it it will not um, has this um, app ID and we can call it an um, identifier or bundle ID so the first step we have to create um, a bundle ID and I call it um, mm, mm, mm. I call this uh, my um, all I know notification if you already have this it is okay but I um, from scratch I would like to show you from um, scratch too yep right this is a um, bundle ID right and bundle ID should be um, home dot um, the app native notification yes I put it like this and don't forget to to check this post notification right don't forget to check this continue sure and click register right and as you can see we have to conflict more about this notification nice okay and now we have to go to find our um, app name that we have just created and this is the bundle ID as well click on this and go to edit right and just scroll down until you see a post notification right here and then we have to configure something we have to we have to um, upload 
our certificate to our airport right right here mm. and this as um, csr file that we have to upload we have to create from our macbook our um, mac os we have to open a um, keychain right here keychain access and then we click on this and we go to certificate assistant and we have to choose some um, request or certificate from a uh, certificate um, authority right and right here you have to put your developer email yes in both right here and you have to click on sell to this choose the um, part you want right I put in my desktop boom it's ready and we have to upload this file to um, okay continue boom and click um, on this download right Yes, it is um, almost done. But um, the certificate we have just downloaded, it is for um, development, as you can see. So we don't need this because we have to release our app. But if you are um, in develop, in development your application, you can use this. But um, I would like to show you in production, not in this development. So does this um, certificate we don't need because um, in one signal we have to pass um, the product certificate. So for now we don't need this. We can delete it and to get um, production of our um, certificate, as you can see, um, APNS is a um, development certificate and this um, airport post notifications notification service is a um, production so um, to to get the production certificate we have to um, add it right here click the, the plus buttons and as you can see we have development and production so we click on um, airport post notification service SSL with them um, in production sandbox and production which mean uh, development and for release right and click continue and then we have to choose the bundle id that we have created um, in the post right here is our bundle id or a notification we click continue continue and we have to pass the certificate request that we have um, created from um, keychain access yeah do you remember pass this and continue and then we have um, the final um, certificate that we really really need in production then click download and we will get um, this certificate like right right here like this well done guys and now we downloaded this just download it from um, our production right and now to um, to make that um, um, certificate to um, um, p12 that we need to um, upload in one signal we have a few stuff to do and I have um, um, took some um, pictures to show you because I could not um, show my developer ID developer um, ID right in a um, public so I apologize for this but yes I do this to get a certificate um, p12 that is um, the same um, we have to try um, our um, APS that we have downloaded from Apple development right and drop to um, keychain access right here as you can see that we have um, create um, that request certificate right we just open this and try and drop our certificate 
um, into that um, keychain access and then we will see uh, our our um, bundle ID in keychain access and then we have to export this we have to export um, our certif uh, certificate to be um, P12 right and now we have to choose some file format into personal information information exchange dot p12 this is what we need p12 and i save it into my desktop and next thing is about password you can enter your password but for me i leave it um, blank it is okay if you um, enter your password because in one signal you can um, type your password right and finally we get um, that certificate dot um, p12 that we need and we have done many steps to get this um, certificate dot p12 and now we got this okay guys and now we have to go back to our one signal website to um, finish um, setting up for iOS push notification we don't need them this anymore so we can close yes and now you have to go to setting yes when you open you will see something like this and you click on a um, our project and click on the setting and now we can um, configure for our iOS right here is some p12 that we have done uh, many many steps right we chose that from computer here is dot p12 yes it's complete and here that i mentioned before that you can um, put your password right here if you have set right if i left it blank and I have to leave it playing in this also. So click save. Yes, we have completed um, um, configure in iOS. Right, and now we have to uh, config. We have to config um, our Android because we will so um, in both platforms, right?